Vinny! Vinny, get in here! <sighs> what does he want now? Hey, uh, did you see the new Captain Marvel trailer? Mm, no, I didn't. I don't watch movies. Oh! Um, well, what do you do for fun? I read. Well, like, we live in Los Angeles. It's like the heart of the Yeah, it's the heart of a, the incredibly rotten, black heart of a very, very toxic place. I try to stay as far away from Hollywood as possible. It's it's terrible. Have you have you seen it? Have yeah, you seen yeah, it? Yeah, I know it's all dirty the homeless and stuff. People? Yeah. Uh, um, it's terrible. It's just a reminder of all the I mean, it's just, just weird cuz I I do like videos about movies and you seem very dismissive of them. Yeah, I know. You're part of the problem. Well, you're like, part of the problem. When you were a kid, what'd you do for fun? I went to the park. I played outside, ran around, and played with my friends. Well, like, didn't you go to, like, Blockbuster Video or something? Maybe, like, once. I... What was it? You I know what it is, Batman though, right? Or something. Yeah. Yeah, I know what it is. They used to rent uh, DVDs, video games, stuff well, like that. Well, they have uh, Blockbuster in this Captain Marvel trailer. Maybe you'll like it. I mean, I kind of highly yeah, doubt Yeah, come over like, here, come right, over here, come right, over here. All right, I'll take a look. All right. What is... Ready, and play. So, Vinny, uh, what do you think about video stores now? Videos. You showed me a movie trailer. I didn't. You showed me the movie trailer for Shazam. You didn't even show me the Captain Marvel trailer. Well, this like, movie takes place in the present day. I mean, it would have been nice if you kind of had like sat down, and done some research, maybe you know, written a script that had a couple of jokes in it. You know, really like inform, like edutain people. But you just showed me a. You just showed me a movie trailer, there, buddy. Oh. Huh. Hey, do you want to make a video where we... <laughs> no. I'm going to take you back to 1975. Jaws had just come out, the Vietnam War was ending, and The Wiz was making its Broadway debut! And there was this man named Eckhard Baum, and he had a pretty unusual hobby at the time. He collected movies. Keep in mind that this was 1975. Couldn't just waltz into a Walmart and get the complete series of Sex and the City on DVD. In fact, VHS didn't come around till 1976. Well, Baum actually gave his friends Super 8 films, and that led to his side business called Video Tech. Thus started the world's first video rental store. Jump to 1977, where George Atkinson opens up his own business because he makes a deal with 20th Century Fox to license out 50 films, and he opened up his own video store in Los Angeles, which is now, I kid you not, the Good Feet Store. The lady that was working today was quite rude. We told her we would think about it, and she gave the snottiest and bitchiest attitude and said, Well, you should probably just leave. We waited for more than an hour because she was tending to other people, which was fine. But 300 for one pair of arches is a lot, so we would think about it. This was honestly the worst customer service experience ever. I absolutely hate it when people act like they genuinely care. And when someone says don't think about it, then being told to leave is absolute horseshit. If I could give negative stars, I would. I'm reading reviews, and I'm praying to God these inserts work. I don't feel very smart right now. It's been four hours. There's no way I can get my money back. I'm not working presently. I wish I had something good to say about my first experience at this store. I walked in on Saturday, July 14th, 2018, around 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time in search of some quality shoes for my husband and me. I knew what time it was because I wrote about it in my journal. As soon as I entered, a young lady approached me quickly, asking me for my name. When I asked her if my name mattered, she then extended her hand and in a condescending manner 
told me her name in anticipation that I would play follow the leader and reveal my name. As a senior and professional businesswoman, I was taken aback. In fact, I was so turned off, I left the store vowing never to return. This store really needs to teach its representatives how to approach a potential new customer. A better start would have been to welcome me, brief me on the store's offerings, and then inquire about my specific needs. When I walked into the store, I was really hoping to walk out with several new purchases. This store lost out. One out of five. Being inside a video store is a bit hard to explain. I could say like it's being inside a Netflix, that, but you know, that really doesn't do it justice. Uh, maybe it was just being a kid and having this world be a mysterious conundrum, but it seemed like the possibilities were endless in a video store. Also, the licensing fees are a bit harder to get when streaming as opposed to a video store. Don't, 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 don't tell, don't tell children about this. Also, can I just say, does everyone need a streaming service nowadays? Uh, CBS All Access. Ooh, Spock has a beard now. Give us $15 a month. I mean, NBC is even going to have their own streaming service, and they're probably going to take The Office off of Netflix. I mean, come on, do you know how many girls on Tinder watch The Office? Apparently all of them. Going to the theater and renting movies were two of my favorite activities when I was a kid. But in order to go to the theater, you had to go across the bridge with a 250 toll on top of the movie ticket, so it was much easier to bike up to network video and rent Kong Pao Entered the Fist for the fifth, fifth time. time. Another great aspect of the video store was checking out because they had these cool flyers that told you what was coming up. In fact, uh, I had the flyer for November 2003 because the second X-Men movie was coming out on DVD, so I had to run home and tell my mom and remind her every once in a while. Eventually, she bought the movie for me on DVD. Oh, <laughs> it was called uh, X2, X-Men United. Why not call it X-Men 2? Gee, I don't know. Renting TV shows were a little bit different because a $2 rental turns into an $8 rental because you're getting all these uh, cases. You get four cases instead of one because a uh, DVD box set is a little more than just one movie. Uh, you might as well buy the second season of Gilmore Girls at this point. You know, I kind of miss watching TV live because I have such great memories watching it with my family, with The Office, uh, Parks and Recreation, 30 Rock. It's uh, It was a good time, but now I can get Hulu and watch all nine seasons of How I Met Your Mother and be disappointed even faster. Not only did these video rental stores have movies and television shows, they also had video games. We crack shot at this. You mean you have to use your hands? That's like a baby's toy. Uh, me and my brothers had an N64 for uh, most of our childhood, like well into the GameCube era. GameCube. And we didn't really have the internet to reference good games. So uh, what we did instead was we had the first Smash Brothers game and we saw all the characters from that. And that's how we based off of what games we would get. In fact, funny story, I have the first uh, Smash Brothers game still with me. And on the back, I found it says Gage Agnew. That's because I brought it in for show and tell in the third grade. <laughs> and um, some, that cemented me as the coolest kid in school. <laughs> Sorry, David. We found so many personal gems in there, such as uh, Pokemon Puzzle League, uh, Mario Party 2 and 3, and my personal favorite, Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards. Uh, coincidentally, I always wanted to rent Superman 64 because of the awesome Bruce Tim art style that I associated with uh, Batman, the animated series, but um, never picked it up. But you know, later I saw the angriest gamer you ever heard rip it to shreds. 
But all these movies and television shows and video games, these were all gambles because back then I didn't have the internet. I didn't have uh, Rotten Tomatoes. I didn't have Metacritic. I didn't have these cultured friends. I don't have a minor in film studies that I never used back in 2003. I didn't have any of this stuff, and my parents weren't that much help because they're big fans of Jimmy Buffett. And let me tell you, I don't trust anyone whose fans' names are parrot heads. Not only did Gage have to judge a movie merely by the cover and the description, but he also had to get it past its parents, Jonathan and Kathy Agnew. They're hard cookies to get by, uh, my mom would say. Eh, no, that doesn't look appropriate. And my dad would usually go, yeah, that looks dumb. Uh, side note, my dad has this amazing superpower where he would uh, fall asleep in the first 20 minutes of a movie and then wake up right at the very end and say, that was dumb, and then go up back upstairs to get some sleep. Uh, <laughs> God bless you, dad. My video store closed around 2008, uh, 2009. We could have gone to the Blockbuster down the street or later Redbox, but it was never quite the same. I think a couple of factors attribute this to this end of an era. Uh, DVD by mail was taking the nation by storm and also the recession hit. So it wasn't as financially feasible to buy all the new releases for your video store. And on a personal note, I was growing up, I was becoming a little more picky on what I watched, uh, mainly due to the internet saying, that's a good movie, that's a bad movie. And I was gonna, I was getting a little more interested with the ladies. Uh, by the way, if you know uh, any hot tips on how to talk to girls, please tweet me at Gay Jagnew. Thank you very much. God bless you. Fast forward to nowadays, where the aforementioned Redbox and video streaming have taken on a much more prominent role in our viewing habits. And it's not quite the same as it was. I don't know how else to explain it. I think we're just really isolated from each other. And when I say us, I mean moviegoers. And in fact, I miss seeing people at the video store and giving me crappy video <laughs> recommendations. Shout out to Miss Debbie. However, Mr. Baum is still renting out movies as of 2019. So if you're ever in Castle, Germany, and you want to see Big Fat Liar, swing on by the Videotech, make sure you return it on time, and share a couple laughs with your family. Uh, thank you so much for spending some time with me and letting me share my stories, and I'll see you next time.